Let's rub it up! Because I am sure hungry for one... <laughs> help! Help! What's up, guys? It's Dirty Yugi from Dirty Yugi and the Boys, and today we have... Uh, Zach Poling. And what'd you do today? I got top four at the OTS... Uh, championship. Championship. All right, what'd playing, you play? Playing Tri-Brigade uh, Phoenix Enforcer deck. All right, now what made you want to play the deck? I've uh, been playing Tri-Brigade, like, all last format, and, uh, and looking for something... I, I really like it, and it's real strong, but it feels a lot different than uh, Tri-Brigade did, like, before the DP. Uh, like the combos are different, the ending board is different, um, a lot of stuff's different. So, yeah. I'm ready. Let's All right, uh, jump into this. Yeah. Uh, the Tri Brigades, I played like standard Tri Brigade stuff. Uh, three Fractal, three Kit, three Nerval, two Karis, that's standard as they come right there. Uh, three Rescue Cat, sighted one out going second a lot. Yeah. I've seen some people to cut this to two. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this, along with a few other cards that I'll bring up if I think about it. Um, I'm finding that like some cards are just dead in your hand and you want to be able to play actually like all five of your cards so whether they're hand traps or whether they're uh, like things that you're discarding off a droplet or something the fact that you're adding the two bricks in here uh, in the form of celestial and uh, dasher uh, it makes the hands like really crappy sometimes so yeah. sometimes you're only playing with four card hand um, so yeah I, I would consider maybe cutting uh, one of these because if you draw two it's just crap yeah uh, there's those and then for the hand traps we did uh, two droll two nib two ash um, these were like adjusted over time they all started at three and found their way down to two uh, and then one bell uh, I was expecting a lot of like um, Dogmatica, that's why like, I, the drools are in here. Uh, and then these other ones are just really nice to hit off of the, uh, the Crossout Designator, which I also play, which is fantastic in this deck. Uh, the only other monsters are these two. Uh, something I will say about these though, originally going into this deck, I thought that uh, this package was like superior to Dragoon because if you draw these, they're useful. You can like discard them and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that is not the case. You almost always keep them in hand, uh, even if you have like nothing, absolutely nothing, and just this. Uh, I wouldn't just set this and like pass turn to my opponent because they'll yeah. probably just kill me. I'd rather like you know not set it. Maybe they won't kill me, and I'll top deck like a uh, like a fusion destiny or something. That's a, a much better use of it, I think. Yeah. You'll probably just die if you try to use them not as the bricks they're intended to be. Uh, that's monsters. Yep. Spells. We got the. Three droplets, which are almost always insane, but I barely drew it at all today. Uh, when I drew it, it's great though, really flexible card. Uh, Fusion Destinies, these replaced Desires. You can't really play Desires anymore, but yeah. this is just as strong a power play. You slap this down, and it's it's the last thing you do, and they're just like, well, crap, yeah. that's everything. The Celestial, the Celestial Dasher also draw two anyway. Uh, it's a little yeah, different. Oh, that comes up all the time. So now instead of ending uh, Appalooza. You generally end on like uh, like the DPE and like uh, Revolt, and then you just try to kind of like grind through with your opponent, trade all your resources with your opponent, and then you draw for turn. It might be something you did some with Dasher. Uh, you know, maybe your thing comes back, your DPE, and then during main phase you draw two. So you can just come back out of nowhere. It doesn't even feel like coming back. Like it's a threat to your opponent. That you're yeah, the, the entire time is yeah, crazy. Yeah, it's, it's wild. Um, <laughs> For the last of the spells, I played two of these, which were fantastic. I really like these. Why two? Why not three? Uh, there's a third one in the side deck. Oh. I, I was scared that I'd run into some trap decks where I don't overlap the yeah. cards. Um, and then the last ones, these three are standard. Uh, they're like your starters and protection. And then Monster Reborn is crazy in this variant now because uh, if you just completely brick, it's just all hand traps in this. You can just like summon Droll and Lockbird, make Al Mirage, activate this, summon back Droll and Lockbird, make Anaconda, summon DP. Oh, That's everything yeah. off of just literally nothing. You just pull out of nowhere. Uh, those are all the spells. Uh, I know somebody in the comments is probably already saying something about you can't get you can't summon DP and search uh, Revolt in the same turn. But I'm gonna show you how in just a second. Yep. Uh, two revolts. This really? is one of those other cards. Uh, I am considering cutting it to one. If you see multiples really? in your opening hand going second, you can't really play the game. You kind it's forced into a grind game that you're probably going to lose because you're like, you know, set up stuff, set a trap card, and they already have two turns by the time you're trying to re resolve your one revolt. So that really sucks. I might cut that to one. Uh, and then three imperms, uh, which I guess are also hand traps. But yeah. uh, I hit these off of um, uh, crossout designator all day. This was insane. That's the main thing. Uh, 40 cards? 40 cards, yep. Right, I'm about to say, if you were to talk all about that and then say, yeah, I'm playing 41. Uh, I, could, I can see the 
the logic in playing more than 40 since you're playing the bricks. Yeah. Uh, but there's just nothing else I want to play, really. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so for this extra deck, we've got uh, two Ferris G and two Omen. Those are pretty standard, as well as one of these to search the trap. One of those. Uh, I wish I played the other three, the Rosvelger. I might yeah. do that going forward, because that actually came up a lot. I wasn't able to uh, like hit games safely, uh, because I would make this in my opening combo, which I'll, I'll show you. And then I didn't have another three to like normal summon, make a three, go for access code, like, go for game. Yeah. I had to jump through a lot of other hoops. Um, those are all the Tri Brigades. We got this guy, who's obviously broken. Um, El Mirage, which is necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this you used to make this first turn all the time, and now you barely ever make this unless you have just a straight gas. I'll show you the what I was thinking of as like the standard combo in a second. So here's Excess Code Talker, uh, and then Anaconda plus this, which is insane, and then the Zeus package, which came up once in top cut, which is pretty good, but I didn't win the match. So uh, let me do the side deck real quick, and then I'll yep. show you a real quick combo how to get both things. Um, if you think about it, you can probably get there on your own. But yeah, well, I mean, you know, we're really the players. We don't yeah, have to yeah, use yeah, our yeah. brain. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, three Lancia, fantastic. Even went in against some matchups that it was semi-useful against, yeah. so I could hit it off the designator and save myself from it. Absolutely. Uh, Cosmics and everyone in. Even these. Uh, I have too many going second cards in here. I got into weird situations where, like, I wanted to side in a bunch of cards, but I had too many cards to side in and not enough stuff to side out. So yeah. I needed to give the side deck a little more uh, thought. Tweaking, yeah. Yeah, Pank of Taps, which is fine. Best card in the game. Order, which is fine. Oh, you didn't mean this. No, it could be fine in the main, but it's kind of a similar theory as uh, the Revolt, where if you draw it going second, it's terrible, yep. and you can't dig for it like you could if you were playing, like, yeah. uh, Prosperity. Uh, and then just the last Designator and uh, the last of the uh, Now, would you have played Prosperity in the main, or would you have played no, no, it, no, or no? no. no? Um, I tested that with these, and... Uh, the extra deck cost actually comes up a lot more than you would think. And also, you can't draw afterwards, and sometimes the fairies you draw to put things back, um, you put back, like, the bricks. So, although you draw the bricks and you, the hands are a little harder to play, if you are actually able to play, you can put back the bricks before you have to discard them from your hand. Yeah. Um, let me go through this combo real quick so you can see, like, what I was working with most of the day. Yeah. Um, you still go hard neg, just like before, like, making apple revolt. Yeah. But now it's a little bit different. So you can, you can basically do it up to, like, just cat. Uh, you know. Okay, so you like summon this, uh, send to grave, summon your two things just like normal. Two kits. Two kit? Uh, yep, they don't have to be the same name. Uh, in fact, you never want to summon the uh, Karis so that you yep. have them you know, later in the game for your extenders. Uh, these guys into this thing. Kid effects into thing. The Nerval as usual. And then Nerval searches whatever you want, maybe Karis. Yep. Uh, let me go. This thing special this. Uh, this thing banish two. To summon uh, this thing. Rampant Rampager. Yep. And then from here, this is where things get a little bit weird. Uh, the, the glare was just hitting it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you can link these off into this here, and then you can use this, draw one, put one back, and then you pay two, dump the stuff, and that's your last summon. Right? Okay. Uh, summon this guy. Uh, yeah, now you see where this is going. This guy effect pops these. Yeah. And now you can go chain link one, chain link two, or the other way around. Uh, if you made it this far, uh, that means that they didn't ash the rescue cat, which yep. means they probably don't have ash. So I like to do it this chain link one, this chain link two, because they probably don't have a response to this. And yep. this dodges the bell, which they may not have used yet. Yep. Uh, and then so the next, yeah. Yeah, because you still four, effect, you yeah, still four search, cards in hand. Yep, exactly. Search one, put one back, set it, do whatever. This comes back during the next standby phase. If you have um, another beast, beast warrior, wing beast, whatever, to discard off the Karis, yeah. instead of having to summon that particular one off the, off whatever, you can also end on. Um, uh, double dragon lords, I think. Yeah, there's, um, yeah, you definitely be, would be able to. Or maybe somebody in the comments will have a, a better combo or a better idea about this. But it comes up kind of often where you have like a leftover tri brigade and bees on field, and your revolt is not live. Yeah, correct. Uh, especially if you don't start with cat and hard make this because this was hard made in this combo. But yeah. Sometimes it's not. Um, 
something I've been doing is uh, like link the extra one and the link two, uh, like the Farajit, off into a Rugal, and then the Rugal and the uh, you know the one extra you would have yeah. uh, into this. So you're, you're losing a lot of stuff, but that allows you to summon the Rugal and the uh, Nerval. Yep. Uh, you still get a chain block from the Rugal. Yep. So you don't really miss out on anything, uh, and it only takes two spots. So yeah, I mean, that's not bad at all. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out some stuff, but it feels really good. It feels really strong. Uh, even the hands where you brick are playable and yeah. winnable, so it's uh, pretty strong. Do you have any shout-outs? Uh, definitely. Um, I borrowed a ton of cards. <laughs> uh, Kyle? Yep, I borrowed <laughs> droplets from Kyle. Swink, uh, you borrowed Swink, the Downard. I borrowed the Downard from... Uh, uh, Peeps YGO. Uh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Billy Dowd, back in Jackson. I borrowed the like a bunch of side deck cards from him, including the uh, crossout designators. Oh, nice. Um, shout out to Ryan for playtesting with me at all hours of the morning. 4 a.m. 4 a.m., yep. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's probably about it. Thanks a lot for the program. All right, I appreciate it. It's Dirty from Dirty the Bush. Thing. Have a good day.